All right, everybody, welcome to my front porch, looking actually the opposite way. My house is over here. Uh, I want to make a quick video about my nine month update for this journey. Um, I have been kind of working on my health for the last nine months, starting on the 1st of January, but I have been carnivore for eight months. So I started carnivore on January 23rd, and uh, this kind of update goes through. So up through t September 23rd, I took my weight took a picture of my uh, progress. Uh, and I also tried to do a what I eat in a week. And uh, this week um, was not very unique um, from what I eat often. It was very hamburger heavy. I did not remember to uh, take a picture of everything. And one day I cannot remember what I ate. So Thursday, I don't know. But let's see, before I kind of show my weight loss and my progress pictures, I'm gonna go through what I ate in a week. So Monday, um, I went to work. So in the morning, I stopped and I got an Americano and I get it from this place um, that's just on the way to work. I can't even remember, Zoomies or something like that. So again, I know that, that coffee is controversial. I should say it's controversial, right? But a lot of people say don't drink it in the carnivore. Maybe it's maybe you're, the most ideal would be not to drink it, but I still have continued to drink it. Uh, the entire time I've done this diet. Americano Heavy Whipping Cream 1 Splenda. When I go into the office, typically I don't eat lunch. So I just worked on through the day, came home with my, got my kids and stuff. My wife came home and uh, we cooked some eggs. I cooked bacon and I also cooked spicy sausage. So I didn't have a lot of eggs. So I had to cook some other things for my family. And then on top of that, I, as I've mentioned many times, I buy chuck roast and they come in about two, two and a half pound chunks, right? And I typically cut them in half and then I cook them in the air fryer or on a skillet. So I did take a chuck roast, cut it in half and I cooked one pound uh, like a steak on the skillet. So I had a little bit of spicy sausage, I had a little bit of eggs, I had a little bit of bacon, and then I had a pound of that chuck roast and that would be my Monday. Other thing I typically do after I eat, because we eat around six or seven, is I may get a little hungry later and I eat uh, pork rinds. So I bought some pork rinds. I typically get one bag a week or so uh, and I'll munch on those in the evening if I'm hungry um, and as I did that Monday. Probably had a diet soda. I don't know if I've mentioned that before. I drink diet Dr. Pepper or even uh, doc Dr. Pepper Zero, which is newer. Um, and so I probably had a bottle of that with my dinner. All right, fast forwarding, let's see, Tuesday. Same thing, went into the office. So I stopped on the way and I got me Americano, heavy whipping cream, one Splenda. Did not eat lunch. Um, went home and I ate the other one pound of chuck roast or thereabout. So I um, cooked that up in the air fryer. And then I was doing Taco Tuesday for the family. So I cooked up some hamburger and beans and stuff for them. But I, but I normally buy like two pound uh, blocks of hamburger. So I pulled off some of that hamburger and did not fry it up for their tacos. And I saved it for me and I made just like a chunk of a, of a hamburger, right? So I had the one pound of chuck roast and a chunk of, of fried hamburger, like, you know, like a hamburger, I guess. Right. So that is what I had on Tuesday and probably had some pork rinds in the evening as well. Wednesday, Wednesday is a church day for us. Uh, so I again go to the office on Wednesdays typically. I'm most likely stopped and got coffee on Wednesday. Um, same thing. I always order the same thing these days. Americano, heavy whipping cream, one Splenda. Um, and when I go to church, um, it's kind of a hectic day. So my wife works at my church, but I got to go pick up my son from school and I just meet her there at church. So I go pick up my son. I get there somewhere around five o'clock in the evening. And we are blessed enough to have a cafe at the church, right? That serves food. Um, they do a special and which changes every week and then they kind of have the standard fare. So my go-to when I'm eating out um, in most of these restaurants is hamburgers. So from there I ordered four cheeseburgers, no bun, nothing, right? So I just get four cheeseburgers and a Coke Zero. They don't have Diet Dr. Pepper. So I got a Coke Zero. I didn't take a picture of it, I'm sorry, but I don't know how much meat they are, but the four cheeseburgers. Uh, and yes, I do add cheese typically. Uh, I know, again, some people may have to cut that out, but I still eat it on most of my cheeseburgers. I feel like an ant is eating my foot right now. I'm going to check. Oh, man. Yep, I definitely think that was an ant. Okay, so, um, and on Wednesdays, I buy another coffee. So we also have a cafe or a coffee shop inside our church. Uh, again, our church is kind of large, so we uh, have a, a big atrium, 
We have some Starbucks equipment inside the church, so I was able to get another Americano, heavy whipping cream. Maybe I added some Splenda. That's what I ate for Wednesday. Thursday, I can't remember. So Thursday, I believe I went to the office again, probably got a coffee in the morning, and I cannot, for the life of me, remember what I ate uh, on Thursday. So, sorry, I don't know what I ate Thursday. But I, I didn't eat until the evening, and I just had one meal. Friday, did not go to the office. So I work at home Friday after I dropped my son off at school. Uh, I made coffee at home. So I made coffee in just a standard drip coffee maker. And I put some heavy whipping cream and, but that's it. So when I'm at home, I don't get a Splenda. So I just put uh, heavy whipping cream in my American drip coffee. And, but for lunch, I typically meet my wife and we go to lunch. I try and do that every week, keep our relationship, spend time together um, on Friday. So we go to a place um, that is close to the church because I run from home, pick her up, and we go to this restaurant. And I get a sirloin steak. Um, so it's like an 11 ounce sirloin steak. And then I was kind of hungry this Friday, so I got 10 chicken wings. Um, hotter than hot is the sauce, and I did get blue cheese. So I'll dip my chicken wings in some blue cheese. All right, Friday night. As I mentioned before, I buy the hamburger in two pound blocks and I cooked up hamburger. So I just grabbed a hamburger or that big two pound block and, and I am not very complicated. Basically, I just open it and throw it in the skillet. Uh, you can see the video over here. And then typically what I'll do is as I'm cooking it, I kind of chop it into fours. So you get basically four chunks of half pound patties. And uh, I cooked that up and I ate only two of them. So I ate two, so which would be one pound because I did have a big lunch. So I had one pound of hamburger. Um, I might have put some cheese on it, and um, I also tend to have some sauce, which is a habo, uh, mango habanero, and I'll put that on my meat, and I'll put it on my hamburgers every now and then. It has sugar in it. It's not carnivore. So I think for two tablespoons, it has 12 grams of sugar. Um, so I try not to use two tablespoons. I typically try and maybe only use like one tablespoon if I use it, uh, which would be six grams of sugar, but that's the only thing that I have sugar in. Uh, most times um, throughout the week. Rolling into Saturday, had my kids uh, working, got things to do, birthday parties like that. Um, for after I had my son change my brakes, which was awesome, he uh, uh, changed my brake pads. I had the other one pound of hamburger because I knew we were going to go to a birthday party with my daughter, and they typically get pizza, which I can't eat. So I had that one pound with cheese and a little bit of mango habanero sauce on top of there. We go to the party. Of course, it's a bunch of stuff I can't eat, which is fine, so I don't eat. And then we come home. My wife ended up having to go somewhere and was out kind of late. And I was waiting for her because I didn't know what she wanted to do for dinner. But um, what I ended up doing is I ran up to Wendy's. And I don't have a, a picture of this, I'm sorry. But you can, you can order patties, uh, standalone patties from Wendy's. So I got six hamburger patties, large ones. And then I get two slices of cheese from them. So, um, and then that's what I had for dinner. So I'll do that when I'm in a pinch. I like the Wendy's burgers, they're bigger. So it's kind of, I don't want to call it expensive, but if six patties and two cheese is like 13 bucks. So depending on how hungry you are, the cheese is actually kind of expensive. So you could skip the cheese um, and you maybe even only get four patties uh, depending on how hungry you are. So that's what I did Saturday night, Sunday, um, church day, same thing as Wednesday. So we get up, we go to church, and um, all my kids are at church, and we eat at church because my kids have junior Bible quiz. Um, one of my son's coaches, the other one helps with running some timers, and my daughter is on a team um, doing the quizzing. And I do not participate in that, but my wife helps. I typically work or do some video editing um, in the atrium of our church and hang out while they're doing that. And so I ate four cheeseburgers, no bun, um, from the church cafe. We came home that night and um, I made more hamburgers, amazingly, right? So I had ordered my groceries. I ordered groceries from Walmart. And I pick them up um, after church, which is awesome. So I just use my phone, order the groceries, drive across, they stick in my car, I come home. And I had ordered a pack of kind of pre-made cheeseburgers, right? So they come, um, I don't remember how many, it's like three pounds. And so I just opened that package and pulled two cheeseburgers out, throw them in the pan, had some bacon uh, that was left from the other night that I didn't cook. And so bacon and cheeseburgers for dinner. If you notice, pretty boring life right now. <laughs> I'm eating a lot of cheeseburgers at a little bit of chuck roast steak. Um, and then when I order groceries on Sunday, I order me a pint of ice cream. 
So I think I made mention this in a video before. I eat ice cream once a week typically, sometimes more than that. Um, it's one thing I really love. Uh, like I even had McDonald's ice cream yesterday, for instance, with my son. But um, I had um, Halo ice cream, low calorie. It's kind of low carb. Um, I said sometimes I order, I do order a, a low carb version of an ice cream. There is a bunch of fake stuff in it, which I know people can be sensitive to, but um, it hasn't bothered me too much anyway. That's a week of eating and mine is Thursday that I can't remember what I ate. And um, so on to my results. For the last three months or so, I have not lost a ton of weight. I've lost about um, 13 pounds. And uh, so I've slowed down quite a bit, um, but I'm okay with that, right? So I'm at 220. And so from 287 was my start on January 1st. Um, again, not being carnivore right away on January 1st, but then uh, on the 23rd of January, starting carnivore. And then till the 20th, or excuse me, to the 23rd of September, I have lost 67 pounds, bringing me down to 220. So today I'm a little late on this voiceover kind of thing. It's like today's the 30th of September and I actually weighed in at 218, um, which is good. So I'm down two more pounds. I'm in the teens, which is awesome. Definitely, as I mentioned, was not as fast. I will say the, not in September, but the two months before that, I did get a little lax, right? And I had ice cream more often than I should have. I was eating it almost every day. I was buying a low carb, uh, bigger pack, right? And for the family, but then I kept eating it because if it's in the house, unfortunately I eat it, which is why I have to buy a small container for me um, um, or, or I'm gonna eat it. So um, I'm, a, I'm an abstainer, which eating this diet, I've, been, I've had no problems. It's funny as I can go out and I can be with people eating and I have no issues like being tempted, um, except ice cream. It's the one thing that I'm tempted. So if I go to a birthday party and they have ice cream, Bam, I'm eating some ice cream. So that's the one thing that I have <laughs> have issues with not eating. Uh, so, but um, took a picture. I did, not much changed since my last picture, I don't think, but uh, I'm still moving in the right direction. I definitely think I'm carrying some skin, extra skin, um, which is something that's gonna happen, but I'm gonna keep working at it. Down in the, um, as I mentioned, 218 today, and I wanna get down to below 200. So I'm at a, at a minimum, I'm going to be carrying on with carnivore, right? Just like I have been through the end of the year. So my goal is, you know, to get through to the end of December and then go in for a health check because I, I haven't got any blood work done. I haven't done any of that stuff. Um, cause, cause to be honest, from a risk perspective, I know being, you know, 80 pounds overweight, uh, and losing that, I don't care what my cholesterol says it is, right? That if it, if I lose 80 pounds, that that's going to put me in a better health situation than having high cholesterol and being or low cholesterol and being super overweight. So I don't really care. So, um, I'm going to make sure I want to see come down. Then, then I'll get my blood work done, check everything. I don't even believe in the cholesterol theory uh, in general, but uh, I do care about inflammation. I care about my fasting insulin. I do care what my testosterone is. So I'm getting, you know, in the 40s uh, and people can have lower testosterone. So hopefully losing weight can help with that. But I want to make sure that stuff's on track and then have a, a checkup. So after that, I don't know if I will be pure carnivore uh, for the rest of my life, but uh, I definitely will be mostly carnivore. Animal based maybe is the word they say, right? So I might eat some eat occasionally off of the carnivore list within reason. So as I reintroduce things, if I have issues, then I guess maybe I'll give them up. But I'm gonna keep it on and I just wanna encourage everybody, wanna say you can do it, pick it up. I think you can do it. A lot of people say they don't know how they could eat the same thing every day. And um, if your health matters, you'll figure it out. It, it has mattered for me and I'm able to do it. The easiest, this is the easiest diet I've ever done in my life. I have dieted many times in the past. I've done low carb, I've done all kinds of different things, but just eating meat only has made me not hungry in most cases. And I, that's why it don't bother me to skip lunch. You do gotta keep your calories up if you're, you gotta watch that, I guess. Maybe you could, for women I hear, they have a problem with under eating, but I'm just eating when I'm hungry and stopping when I'm not. All right, see you in the next video. God bless.